Hey guys, Keon the Movie King, and you know it's that time of month, Blu-ray update. I know you guys are waiting for all that. A lot of you guys are. So I gotta tell you off the bat, you guys remember um, my last Blu-ray update. I did it in the month of June because I got caught up doing those uh, Universal Soldier marathons, so... The list is not that big, but I can say I picked up a lot more horror movies than I have been. So I'm happy about that. Um, but next month I have a feeling it's going to be pretty big, but who knows, it might not. But let's just jump right into it. Oh, and before I jump into the uh, Blu-ray updates, what did you guys, let, let me ask you a question, what do you guys think about the Chucky? Uh, I just put that, that was my last video I put up, my thoughts about the trailer, but if you guys never checked it out, just want you to know that I am looking forward to this movie. This is now the movie I'm looking forward to this Halloween, um, the the curse, uh, Cult of Chucky, and the It movie. So I got two horror movies that I'm really looking forward to, and I'm gonna. Uh, I know Chucky's coming directly to Blu-ray, so I will be picking that up right when it comes off, comes out. Wish it was a still book. It'd be cool to have a Child's Place uh, still book, but I don't know if they will. Probably doubt it. Um, but it I will be seeing in, in theaters, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, there's no annoying kids in there they usually they, they tend to ruin my experience in movie theaters um, anyway let's, let, let's jump right into it before I just keep ranting and ranting on about these little kids what I would like to do with them with a chainsaw no, I'm just joking I love kids just not the ones in the theaters um, <coughs> let's jump on to it so let's start with um, a drama thriller that I picked up this movie's old it's been out for a while and I've heard only good things about it. Never checked it out. Dramas are not really my dramas are not movies I tend to watch a lot of, as well as love movies I don't really watch a lot of as well. But I don't mind watching them here and there. But this was on Amazon Prime. I watched it. I loved it. And so I had to pick it up. And I picked it up for really cheap. And that is a Ben Affleck directed. Is it Ben Affleck? I could be wrong. Is oh. It is correct right now. Like, <laughs> uh, gone, baby, gone. Really, really, really enjoyed this movie. If you have not checked this movie out, and you have Amazon Prime, check it out. It's on Amazon Prime. You won't be sorry. Alright, the next one I picked up is a comedy. And everyone hates this comedy. Now, I'm not young, so it's not because I'm young. I'm pretty old. I just look young, but I'm old. I'll tell you this though, I've never seen the original. That's the reason why I don't have a problem with the movie. Now everyone's going to be like, oh my god, you like this movie? Because everyone hates it. I enjoyed this movie. I laughed at this movie. And it's maybe because I've never seen the original. Uh, when I was younger, I tended to watch a lot of John Claude Van Damme, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, and horror movies. A lot of Freddy, a lot of Jason movies. Comedies were last on my list. I, 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 they didn't even really bother watching comedies until I got a little bit older. I was deranged a little kid. Anyways, the the comedy I picked I picked up, and I I do like it. And that is Vacation. Everyone's gonna be like, boo! But you know what? Fuck you, man. That's no, cool. Everyone has their opinion. Okay, so the next movie I've already reviewed this on my channel, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Um. I don't remember, and I didn't bother looking at my old video, because I don't watch my old video, because I don't really want to watch myself. I don't sit there and be like, ooh, you a sexy motherfucker. No. So I, I don't know if I mentioned this movie last time. It was not... I usually write a list for you guys, so I can, um, you know, say Blu-ray update. And, um, you know, it's for you guys. These Blu-ray updates are for you guys that, that like it. So, I write a list of all the movies I buy. Every time I buy a movie, I put it on this list. It's on, on a little book I have. I have the book right here. And every time I do that, so I'll show you right here. Here's the bits, like a little popcorn thing. So, I do put my list. I'm not going to go and show my writing. But anyways, um, I put my list on there. And last month... This was not on the list, so I don't know if I didn't. I got this movie last month, so I gotta be honest. I didn't get that this this month. So, anyways, it's the autopsy of Jane Doe. So if I did, it's actually like this. 
Yeah. I did review this movie. A lot of people hyped it up. But I didn't mind get it on my collection. This is a Scream Factory, Shout Factory. Well, that's Shout Factory, but yeah, it's cool. Slip cover, so I like that. Um, the next are all horror movies. Then I have like two steel books, but um, let's start out with some horror movies. I got this at the pawn shop. It's one of my favorite series. Um, I don't mind the second movie, so and I got it for a dollar ninety nine. And I know it has a little dent in it, but oh well. It's Scream 2. See the real green sticker on there? It was on clearance for $1.99. I love the Scream movies. Fuck the show. Um, I've never seen this movie. I had to pick it up. I okay. I fucking love Slither by James, uh, James Gunn. Um, I like Guardians of the Galaxy. I enjoy it a lot, but I can't say I love because it's not my favorite movie, but I, I do enjoy it. I love Super. Now, if you're a fan of James Gunn, check out this movie called Super. Um, if you're a fan of Kick-Ass, Super, I would take, it's kind of, it's with Kevin Bacon. You gotta watch it. Super, it's awesome. It's, it's also a James Gunn. Um, in the, Bel the, the Belko experiment is one I really wanted to see in theaters, and dumbass me, I didn't go check it out, which sucks because... I wanted to see a good horror movie this year, which sucks, but yeah, I got that. So I can't wait to watch this movie. Um, let me know if you want me to review it. I don't know if I will. The next review I do have to do is The Void. I do got to check the, that one. I still haven't checked it out. It was in last month's um, Blu-ray update. I really want to check out that movie. I just get caught up with all of these other stuff, but I will check this one out as well. Um, the next one, oh, help, next one I got is a found footage movie, I got it at a uh, half price bookstore, it was for $4.99, it was a found footage, I'm not a fan of found footage movies, but, but for some odd reason, I always get hooked on found, found footage movies, and, and I just can't turn away, I just watch them, even though they end really stupid, I've never seen this movie, uh, one of my, uh, you, uh, you, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Rambo Ralph, he um, reviewed this movie. So, and I don't, I think he, I don't remember what he gave it, but I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. I hope it's not the one he was talking. He told me, he, he told there was one review. He talked about a Bigfoot movie that ended up not being Bigfoot. It ended up being a guy getting raped. I don't want to fucking see that movie, but um, I hope it's not that. But it's Bigfoot: The Lost Coast Tapes. Hopefully it's not. If you guys have seen this movie and it is, please tell me because God help me if it is. And I want to see that. I want to see Deliverance. Um, and one of my Blu-ray updates, one of my past ones, you guys know I, I picked, I, I have a still book of this. But I don't want to open that still book because I'm, I mean, come on. When do you see that many still books of this movie I'm showing? But this, I, so I got myself this copy. It was one of those Walmart bins that you dig through and, and trust me, I digged all the way in the bottom. And found it. Oh yeah. So this is one I can open. This is the original it. It. Tim Curry. So. So I will eventually have three it's because I have the still book, this it, and then the remake it. Hopefully they make a still book on that one. I can hope. Um. <laughs> I had really fun in this one. I opened this one because I had to check this one out. Uh, I will one day do a marathon for these movies. I love the first movie. And I enjoyed the second movie. It's not as great as the first movie, but I love the first movie. And that is Night of the Demons 2. I got the second one. So it's really cool that I got this on Blu-ray. Love the first one. I have that. Um, Screen Factory. If you guys don't have the Screen Factory of Night of the Demons, pick it up. It's really good. This is not Screen Factory. I don't even know what all of the films, I guess. But I had fun with the sequel. I had fun. It's always fun. Night of the Demons is a fun movie. You can't take it serious. If you take it serious, you're not going to enjoy it. Um, now this is from Scream Factory, and this is a classic, and I love this movie, and if you have not seen this movie, I urge you to get off your seat and watch this movie. Watch, I mean, The Void, a lot of times as I mentioned in The Void, they say The Thing, you know, inspired by The Thing, and From Beyond. Oh yeah, look at this. 
green factory shell factory for you guys you know what I'm gonna open this up so I can show you the original cover because that's the thing about I love about the shell factories screen factory they give you the original cover in the in Alright, so, this is the one, that Scream Factory, their cover, and the original VHL, VHS cover art, it's over here, I'm going to keep this one because it's the one I remember. And so to this, so it has DVD and Blu-ray, so... There was a Screen Factory, Shell Factory sale going on, so I really hope a lot of you guys down there, if you're horror fans, picked it up. A lot of the, the, the Blu-rays, you know, Screen Factory is pretty overpriced. It's $39, $29, I mean, um, but they had a lot of their Blu-rays for $14, so hopefully you guys, you know, picked up on that sale. I sure did. I'm waiting for some more to come. That will be next month's um, Blu-ray update, but yeah, from beyond. See, now I got the new cover. Oh, yeah. Um, the other one is the sequel that a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of people shit on the sequel. I don't, I don't know why. I don't like the third one. I don't like, I don't like any of the other ones. I love the first movie, and I love the second movie, and to be honest, of Jaws 2. Jaws 2 is the first, uh, the first one in the series I watched. I, I didn't watch the first one first. I saw Jaws 2. Um, in Africa, every min, every... Every midnight on the weekends, they would always show a horror movie. And Jaws 2 was a movie they would always show on TV all the time. And I was just hooked on it, and I was just scared out of my mind. I was scared when I was a little kid. I was just like, oh my god. We you know when they're all stuck on their little boats, sailboats, and they have to pull each other around. Yeah, it just frightened me. I enjoyed the sequel. And, you know, watching watching it again, I watched it. The, um, I wonder if I, I want to I say Shudder. I saw it, I, I believe it could have been on Netflix, I, I believe Jaws 2 was on Netflix a while ago, and I, I watched it again, just, you know, because I haven't watched it in many years, and I enjoyed it, it was, it was so much fun, just like watching the first one, I enjoyed the first one, the first one's the best, I can't say the second one's better than the first one, no, but I love the second one, I grew up with this movie, I hate the third movie, and I can't stand Jaws Revenge, I can't even watch that movie, but in my world, there's only Jaws 1 and Jaws so I had to pick that up because I have the first one so now I have the second one. I'm not going to get a third or a fourth. Okay. The next one I picked up and I got it at a half price bookstore. Um, I, I really enjoyed this movie. This movie scared shit out of me. I'm not going to even lie. I, I really scared, scared shit out of me. And if you look up the real case, the little photos they have of this girl, it's horrifying. Um, and that is The Exorcism of Emily Road. I don't think her real name was, was it, what was her real name, was it Amelia or something, I don't remember, but if you type up the real case of this, this movie, check out the pictures, I mean, just type, type it on YouTube, they'll, they'll show you pictures, and, ugh, but, yeah, I, it was a well done movie, well done movie, um, not sure when I'll watch this again, but I really enjoyed it, let me know, do you guys like this movie? I'm um, not really sure. I, I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this movie. Came and came and went. All right, so let's go down to my still uh, books. Uh, I'm gonna it's gonna cut off real fast because I'm gonna go get something to drink. My mouth is dry. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I know it was a quick cut. I don't like to do that. I just like to roll right through this. Now let me go to my Blu-ray, uh, my still books. Didn't pick up a lot. Now, there was a cool guy on, on YouTube that messaged me named Thomas Dodson. I believe that's his name. If it's wrong, sorry about that when you're, if you're watching. But, really, really nice guy gave me, uh, told me that they were selling still books at Target. Honestly, right when he told me that message, I was off to Target. Now, I don't know where he's from, and um, I'm, I'm in Washington State. Not sure where you're from, and not sure if your still book collection was a lot. Now, the racks that they had over at the Targets, all I went to four different Targets, so um, because I was going for the still books, and he was right, there was still books, but the, the racks were really small. They they were 
a total of maybe like five different titles of steelbooks. Um, one I already have on steelbook, which is Scarface. I gotta admit, their copy they had, I actually liked it better. It had this, um, it, it just looked better than the, the copy I have. They had 8 Mile, I have 8 Mile, so I couldn't pick that up. And then the other titles they had, I had, oh, I believe they had Lone Survivor as well, and I have them. See, a lot of them I had, and if I, if the ones I didn't have, I had no interest in picking them up. They're really older movies that I've never seen, and I, I do like to collect still books, but I like, I tend to collect still books of movies, um, that are like, movies I really adore. Uh, that's the best way to explain it. Sometimes I'll pick up the still books just like randomly, like just pick up still books randomly, but I'm not going to pick up a still book if I don't know the title. But that was excellent, excellent uh, um, uh, recommendation. I mean, not recommendation, but we, he told me where to go and he was absolutely correct and I loved that. That was awesome. It actually made my day and it actually brought excitement because I had a little hunt going on for these still books and I was going to different targets you know like feeling like for crack I was like where's the still books at man and the guy was like uh looking at me like still books so I was like yeah the still books man where's your still books and he was like uh I don't know what you're meaning and I was like blu-rays man he's like oh it's over there and I was like dude if you have any still books in the back I'll suck your dick no I didn't do that but he, he's the man for that, and so uh, Thomas Dutson, if I, I hope I'm saying your name right, thank you very much. So there's two guys so far that have, have been, that been giving me the recommendation that told me places where to find movies that I wanted to get, and that's Picklebush and Thomas Dutson, so I like, thank you very much. You have to cool my book. If the purge has to happen, I'm not coming after you guys. Alright, <laughs> let's stop ranting and let me go on to my first still book I picked up now. I really wanted this movie on Steelbook, and I'll tell you this, I had to order this online because at Best Buy this was sold out. When I bought this online, these USPS lost my goddamn Steelbook. I was pissed. I was like, are you serious? Anyways, that movie is John Wick 2. Luckily, the guy I bought it for online sent me another copy, no charge. Awesome. Awesome, dude. Because... That pissed me the hell off, man. I was, like, looking forward to this. John Wick is the man. Keanu Reeves is the man. Fuck yeah. So I'm glad I have this on still look. And you know what? I've not seen this movie. I've not seen this movie, but I really love the first movie. So, And I've only heard positive things about the sequel. So, I mean, looking forward to this. Looking forward to this. Am I going to open this? No, I'm not. So I'm going to probably have to buy another copy. Just like Logan, I'm going to have to buy another copy just to open it and watch it because... This goddamn is so hard to find, man. It's so hard to find. Okay, so the next one. Now, this one I'll open the still book. Um, I've not seen this movie. I did grow up watching this show. I actually, a couple months ago, I on Netflix, I think they had the whole season. So I tried watching it. I didn't get really far. I was like, this is shit. Anyways, I picked it up. Uh, still book of the Power Rangers. Haven't seen it. Hopefully, it's not so kiddy. I don't know. Sometimes I don't have a problem watching the really, you know, kid movies. I, I didn't mind the Goosebumps movie, but I don't know. Power Rangers. All I hope is they do martial arts in this movie, because in the Ninja Turtles movie, those things were called Ninja Turtles, and they didn't do a goddamn martial arts. And I'm talking about Shadow, Out of the Shadows, those Ninja Turtles, I watched that movie just recently on Amazon Prime. Those goddamn turtles didn't do no do, no. Goddamn martial arts. I'm sitting there tripping out saying, Go Ninja! Go Ninja! And no Ninja was going. Anyways, this is it on my Blu-ray update. Next month there will be a new Blu-ray update. As always, in the end of the month there will be a new one. If you watch it to the end, you're awesome in my book. If you click the dislike button, you're probably not getting laid. If you're new to the channel and you like Blu-ray updates, and you want a new Blu-ray update every month, Click that Chucky icon. When that Chucky icon click pops up, click it, click it, click it real good. And when you click it, you get a new Blu-ray update every single month. And don't, I mean, I know I mentioned a couple months ago there's going to be some sweepstake coming on, like, that I'm going to do. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Subscribers are growing. It has to be much bigger. I 
have to, I can't just invest in the money to give you guys prizes. It has to be a competition. <laughs> Anyways, it's Kill the Movie King. You guys, thanks for watching. Everybody take care.